Hi guys, welcome to this video of logical reasoning and today we are covering inequalities. This is a revision session of inequalities. So let us begin this video. It is going to be a fun video because we are going to solve a lot of questions but the difficulty level of this question is not very high so you are going to enjoy solving them because they are more or less like puzzles. These kind of questions related with inequality, they are asked in nearly all the banking exams, most of the MBA entrance exams, the lower ones especially, but not in the higher level difficulty exams like CAT, ZAT. These kind of questions, may not, you may not find these kind of questions. But for sure, you will get one or two questions for RBI grade B or any of the banking exams. So let us begin this video. We have our first uh, inequality here z equal to w less than or equal to y y less than or equal to v and v equal to l m equal to v less than or equal to n so guys this is a very easy combination kind of a problem you have to combine all these three inequalities to form one simple inequality now since this is a revision session i am sure all of you are aware how to do it i am not going to go in the depth of how exactly you have to do it but if at all you don't know you can see me solving the problem and you can understand it for yourself so all i am doing here is my w is equal to z so i am writing z below it this is less than or equal to my y which is less than or equal to my v and n now my V, L and M are equal and this is less than or equal to my N. So this is the inequality that I have got. This is after combining all these three inequalities. Now let's have a look at the conclusions. So I have Z which is less than or less than or equal to N. So yes, this is very true. This conclusion does follow. My Y is greater than or equal to m so no guys my y is less than or equal to m so this is definitely not the case so the correct answer is only conclusion one is implied but not conclusion two now let us see the next inequality problem d is less than or equal to b is less than a b is equal to c E is less than C is less than or equal to F. So again, let us solve this inequality. I have D here, which is less than or equal to B. Now my B is equal to C and B is less than A. Again, this inequality deals with V and C. The third one which says my E is greater than my C and D. So these two are equal and this is less than or equal to f. So guys when I combine it I get two inequalities. So this is my one inequality and this is my another inequality. I cannot draw a conclusion between these two inequalities. So let us see what exactly is the question saying. E is less than a. So guys here I have E is less than C and A is greater than C. So when I combine these two, yes, this is the fact that E is less than A. So yes, this is right. E is less than A. Then I have F is greater than or equal to D. So if you look carefully, we have B which is less than or equal to B and C, which is less than or equal to F. So yes, D is less than or equal to F or I can say F is greater than or equal to D. Hence, the correct answer is both of the conclusions are implied. Now, let us see the next one. Cat is greater than lion. Lion is less than ostrich. Ostrich is equal to otter. Otter is equal to dog. And that is greater than or equal to salmon, which is greater than yak. Now my conclusion is ostrich is greater than yak. So let us see where exactly we are. 
So we are here ostrich and yak. We have to compare between ostrich and yak. Yes, it is true ostrich is greater than yak. If at all you just ignore this particular thing and these this particular thing you get ostrich which is equal to dove is greater than or equal is greater than yak. So yes, my first conclusion is correct. Cat less than dog. So is my cat less than dog? Let's rub this out. So you can see two signs which are opposite each other. One is greater than and the another one is less than. So I cannot compare between when I get two opposite signs. That is why there cannot be any conclusion drawn between cat and dove. So yes, this particular thing doesn't hold true. Only my conclusion one is implied. So the correct answer here is B. Now let's go to the next question. Ketchup is less than salt, is less than or equal to tomatoes, is less than or equal to eggs. And here we have another inequality which states orange juice is greater than radish is greater than ketchup. So the conclusion asks us to compare between radish and eggs. Let's combine these two to form one equation. So I have K for ketchup which is less than salt which is less than or equal to the tomatoes which is less than or equal to egg. And in this way I have Ketchup is less than radish, is less than orange. So I have here compared and if you look carefully, you will find that the ketchup is having the lowest value. Everything is greater than ketchup. Can I compare between radish and egg? So if you look carefully between radish and egg, you have two opposite signs. One is Greater than and the other is less than. So you cannot compare between something which is opposite. So you cannot compare. This cannot be compared. The second one says orange juice is greater than tomatoes. Again if you look carefully there are two opposite signs involved. And we cannot make the comparison when we have two opposite signs involved. So here the answer is neither of the conclusion is implied. Now let us see the next one. Now these are symbol related inequalities. Here you have to be very careful. You have to have I for detail. Let's solve it. First let us use these symbols and convert these, the statement into an inequality. So A is not greater than B. A is not greater than B means A is smaller than B. Or A is equal to B. Then I have B is neither greater nor smaller than C. Which means B is equal to C. When I have equal to, I am going to write it below. So I have B equal to C. Then I have C is not smaller than D. Which means C is greater than or equal to D. Then I have D is neither smaller than nor equal to E. So D is neither smaller nor equal to E means D is greater than E. Now let us see what is my conclusion. So I have to find the relation between C and A. So clearly C is greater than A. Now this particular conclusion says C is neither greater nor smaller than A. So the first conclusion is talking about C being equal to A. The second conclusion again talks about the relation between C and A and it says that C is neither smaller nor equal to A. So which is talking about C being greater than A. The third conclusion states E is neither greater nor equal to B. So the third one is stating that E is neither greater 
nor equal to b so e is less than b and the fourth conclusion is talking about d is not greater than b so we have d is either smaller than or equal to b now let us see let us uh, see which of the conclusion holds true here we have a is either less than or equal to c so a c is either less a uh, greater than or equal to a so yes either of these two conclusions is correct let us see my third conclusion e is less than b very true e is less than b so yes my third conclusion is perfect and related regarding b and b i have b is greater than or equal to b so if you look carefully this is also true so here i have option number e which is right only either 1 or 2 and 3 and 4 are true so either one of the 1 or 2 is true and 3 and 4 both of them are true now let us see the next problem here i have e is greater than f so e is greater than f f is less than g f is less than g then i have another inequality which is related with h i and e so i have h is less than or equal to i so h is less than or equal to i and i is greater than or equal to e so when i combine both of these i have h which is greater than or equal to i which is greater than or equal to e which is greater than f which is less than g so yes i have got a very weird looking inequality now let us see the conclusions so i have e is equal to g which is my first conclusion e is equal to g no this can never be true so my first conclusion is definitely false let's see the second one the second one says f is greater than or equal to h so f is greater than or equal to h i don't know because there are a lot of inequalities involved so no i cannot draw any relations this may not be correct h and e so something between h and e there are again two signs which are involved so i cannot draw a conclusion between h and e then i have to draw a conclusion between i and f so i is greater than f i is greater than f yes this is true so only conclusion 4 follows so the correct answer here is option number b which is only conclusion 4 follows now let us have a look at the next problem now here the statement is r is not greater than j which means r is less than or equal to j then i have the relation between f and j which is saying f is not smaller than j which means that f is greater than or equal to g then i have c is not smaller than f so i have c is greater than or equal to f i can very well combine it here and say f is smaller or equal to c instead of writing it here now let me combine the statement i get c is greater than or equal to f is greater than or equal to j which is greater than or equal to r so yes i have combined it into one inequality now this conclusion is talking about relation between r and c so what does this conclusion say that r is neither greater nor smaller than c which means r is equal to c this can be a case then it talks about c is neither smaller nor equal to r so c is greater than r so yes either of the two statements is correct so either c, conclusion 1 or 2 is the right one now let us see the next problem 
first let me convert it into the normal nomenclature because this thing the quantity is not given in the correct nomenclature so i have plus which is meaning into so i have 9 plus 4 which means 9 into 4 then subtraction means division so this is divided by 6 multiplication means subtraction so this means minus 6 and the division means addition so this means plus 8 when i solve this i get the answer as 8 so quantity 1 is equal to 8 let's see what is my quantity 2 this is another type of inequality wherein you are asked to compare the quantities quantity 1 or quantity 2 very simple to what we get in quadratic equations 10 plus means multiplication so we have 10 into 10 multiplication means subtraction subtraction means division and division means addition so here i have 100 minus 1 which is 99 plus 10 which is 109 so definitely my q2 is greater than my q1 so q2 greater than q1 now let us see the last one which of the quantity is greater a shopkeeper bought 5 toppies in 1 rupee and marks, marks them up by 25%. So he has bought 5 toffees for 1 rupees which means the cost price is 20 pesos. He marks them up by 25% which means that the selling price is going to be 25, correct? If he allows a 12% discount, then how many toffees should he sell at rupees 22? So here he is allowing 12% discount, which means he is going to sell these 25 toffees at 88, 0.88 times, which comes out as 22. So he is selling each toffee at 22 paise. Now, how many 22 pesos are there in 22 rupees? So, we have 100. We have 122 pesos. So, Q1, my Q1 is nothing but 100. Let us find out the value of my Q2. A shopkeeper bought 4 toffees in 1 rupee, which means that the cost price now is 25. He marks them up by 26%, which means he is now marking them at 1.26 into 25 paise. If he allows a 10% discount, that is he is selling them at 0.9 times whatever he has bought, how many toffees should he sell at twi rupees 28.35? So 28.35 means 2835 paise. And here we have 0.9 into 1.26 into 25. Let's solve it and see what it comes out as. So the value of my Q2 is also 100 which means my Q1 is equal to Q2. Of course, the probability of this, these kind of questions being asked in inequality is really low. These kind of questions probably might be asked in profit and loss. Anyway, we have already covered the revision section of profit and loss and I hope you all are clear with the concepts. But inequality is again from logical reasoning and a very simple concept. Mostly the last year questions which were related which we saw till uh, question number 7 were very commonly asked in exams. So please be thorough with inequalities. I hope you all have got all the answers right. Stay tuned for more videos. Thank you so much.